This is AH-107. Responding. I'm a Commonwealth Sky Cop. As you're back, you're under arrest. You are bending traitors to the Commonwealth. You're now being exiled to a detention facility on Valdega. Nobody move. We need to get to Arcadia. I'll kill anyone who stands in the way. You shot the pilot, Mama. You told us not to shoot the pilot. Well, she's crazy. What did you just say? I'm undercover with a group of escaped convicts. You were spied. Something like that. Shoot on sight. You ready straight for us? We don't hide. We fight. Trust me, there is a plan for us. Warning. Impact. I love being with people. It's the most incredible thing in the world. What are you doing? Oh, this is nice. That world may change and evolve, but the one thing that will never change, we're all part of one big family. woman over there, she's your sister. Higher, further, faster, baby. That's right. We're all part of one universe. Wakanda forever! That moves ever upward and onward to greater glory.
Now, I don't want you to get your hopes up, but there's a good IT program in the area, and I'd be glad to make a phone call for you. What if I don't want to work in IT? I just think it's more practical for someone, a young lady in your situation. You ever looked around this town? The manufacturing drying up left and right. What's going on? They closed us down. You get a front row seat to how the world works. Don't need some professor of sociology quizzing me on life below the poverty line. She's smart here, trust me. What does that mean? It means here at least you can see the top. Oh my God. What? You just got into college. I have a life here. That's some life here, huh? Move fast, follow the wires. Modern day gold mines. Sounds illegal. You know, I'm not slow, honey. I know what you've been doing. What about the police? Police ask questions. <laughs> You stay in this town because you're scared. Scared to call, scared to leave. You stay here because you're weak. Rather work line four and then die over scrap. Stop! Hey, get in! Why don't you leave, Ruth? Just take my keys and go. Hi. Hi. Hello, it's me. Um, it's Tom. Um, look, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I just, I, I, um, I've noticed that in these long superhero montages, Loki tends to get, you know, a bit left out, even though arguably he's incredibly heroic himself, you know, cunning, charming. Uh, I could go on, but, but, but maybe why don't I just prove it to you? Wednesdays are the new Fridays. When your career hits the skids, what's he doing? You had a shock at me. Your girlfriend wises up and gives you the boot. Plenty more fish than a seam. And even your one night stand thinks you're a loser. We know, old school. Yeah, look. I'm not looking for a relationship. Maybe it's time for a change. Do me a favor, you just, just keep it under your hat. Yeah. Bro, trust me, I will not say a word. In the world of sports, yes. scandals are not uncommon. And he's a whopper. Hallelujah. Oh, bastard. Hallelujah. What the <laughs> Usual Wagga Wagga is a buzz with footy fever. Hey, the It's a bit of days. Couldn't get any worse. We're not wired for monogamy. The thought that not every girl in Wagga wants you. <sighs> Always had a thing for footballers. What a coincidence, because I've always had a thing for <laughs> girls that like football. <laughs> Keep filming, Raymond. This is cool. <laughs> the Posca! The Posca! There's something... There's something special about you, man. I can see it. I can feel it, man. You're on a mission. Me. Fuck, you're ugly. I thought I was ugly, but I mean you. And you're gonna give me nightmares. <laughs> oh. So what are you doing here, man? How did I catch you? You did something bad. How many kids, hey? You said fuck. Five, ten, twenty, thirty-five, a hundred. hundred fucking kids? Jesus. Sick. Sick. Come on, Larry! Come! Larry! 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 Larry!
Je mooi voor de nacht. Je hebt die tijd er. Ja. Napoli è come una bella sirena. Che sta là e tu guarda. Poi si è negata e te ne muro. Ne potrà mettere si sfraccia la trinta scoglia. Tierra Cocoruno Gabo Ben a Tierra Tisis. El próximo será una guerra longa y fatigosa. Vale, la fedeltà es una bella cualidad si sea la persona justa. Ya falló por esa cruciera. Tratta tutto quanto un malfiglio. Ma si manca nel rispetto a una papà. I know this is hard. I'm only here to help you. Let's get started. I work for this rich family. They brought me into their home to take care of their son, so... Sounds like a lot to handle. They respect what I do. Your girlfriend's 15, and you are 18. And she's innocent. Now you want to talk about what? My dramatic emotional breakdown. In prison, you assaulted a guard. What's it been like for you since you got out? I am taking care of other people, but there's no one to take care of me. Is that the Adam? You made it very clear how you feel about him. Are you seeing him again? You grew up in a world of violence. I think this is a coping strategy. I guess I'm just like a little scared. I know I'm not their friend. I'm their help. I'm a tool. Why do you stay? He matters to me. You made choices. I made a mistake. Everyone's guilty of something, but only some of us pay the price. All these people are looking to me to tell them what to do. I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what to tell myself. That's our time for today. And now a special look at Marvel Studios' original series, Loki. Maybe Loki wants to mix it up. Is that possible? You can change. Hi. This variant is insubordinate, stubborn, unpredictable. I don't care! He's doing great. You need the god of mischief. But he's really arrogant. I am Loki. And I am burdened with glorious purpose. Unbelievable. Wherever you go, it's just death, destruction, the literal ends of worlds. I know. Original series streaming June 9th, only on Disney+. Plus. What do you think? I love it. I can't believe my little sister is engaged. It's so beautiful, Ava. I can't go through the wedding. You know, I don't want to hear it. Get out. Ava, are these your honeymoon tickets? Are they non-refundable? All expense paid trip to a first class resort. It'll be fun. Look at all this romance. It's disgusting. It might not hurt to meet a few new people. I'm good. It is a real life version of Tinder and you keep swiping left. I'm assuming you've been hit on by nearly every single guy on the beach. Beautiful woman like yourself. It's gonna happen a lot. My name's Kyle. Full disclosure, I'm supposed to be here on my honeymoon. What? I can't believe that. And knowing Brady's probably over it by now. What have I done? 
Welcome to the romantic heart hunt. Whoever collects the most hearts wins a couple's massage. Here you go. A keepsake. Is this seat taken? I made a giant mistake. I've come all the way here to tell you how sorry I am. This just got a lot more complicated. Brett did fly all the way out here. Yeah, it was really sweet. I'm gonna win that contest and take your ex fiance on a date tonight. We have a winner! Waiting for somebody? Wow. Can we toast to new beginnings? You didn't think that I was just gonna forget about everything that happened between us, did you? I'm still the same guy that you fell in love with. You're the bread that left Ava at the altar. You can make a fresh start with me. I can't make a decision. Whatever you do decide, I'll be here. Ah, no suitcase. No. A suit. Felt the occasion called for it. Ava, you're the love of my life. Will you marry me? Um, I'm Augie, by the way. Darby. Furby? Darby. Darby. Yeah, Sorry, I know. Darby. No, I've gotten Furby before. It's been a little bit wild. Have you found the one? No, I uh, found some losers on Match.com. I just feel like I'm failing all the time, you know? Like, is it always this hard? You go for it, and you get on that dick wagon. Mm. It is your destiny. Very upset by the phrase dick wagon. Why do you need a boyfriend right now? This isn't Jane Austen times. I'm sorry. I'm just having a small life panic. I just want to be the kind of woman who knows what she wants and she's not afraid to go after it. You should be loved for the little derp to derp that you are. Oh my god! I ran into Augie for the first time in two years. No. So he's back in New York, apparently, which I would have known if I hadn't unfollowed him, and then I wouldn't have been blindsided wearing Crocs. Ew. up in a moment we slept together one time i don't owe you anything i decide who i sleep with and who i love i'm proud of you you've grown into this brave resilient independent woman it feels really right which is terrifying but worth it in the end he was not ready to be in a relationship. Also, I got really drunk at his dad's wake. No, that is okay. I mean, I puked at Jim's cousin's bat mitzvah. This all happened in front of his ex-wife. Oh, okay, you win. <laughs>
Oh, sorry. Make sure that condom fits snug. We need a morning after pill. I got one more right here. That could be anything. I got some pill. Sunny. It's like a really small chance it might be PCP. You're going to be working at the Beacon? Yeah, the Tribune has picked up a lot of their articles. I have been beaten out more than a few times by their boy wonder, Morgan Cooper. My son won the Pulitzer Prize for local editorials. Woo! Excuse me, I was looking for Morgan Cooper. Yeah, is that my lunch? I'm starving. That's my lunch. Who the heck is Audrey Harper? I'm Audrey Harper, and this is my lunch. My son needs someone to put him in his place. Would you mind me shadowing you? That's not necessary. Got it. If you were shadowing me, though, we would be leaving now. What are they doing? It's the uh, Ask and Hope drop box. Wow, that's sweet. Where are you staying? With an old friend, Jane. Aunt Fanny's niece? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we go way back. You'll like working with Clifton. His family started the Hope Cove Beacon. What about his son? Audrey said he's a bit of a grump. Oh, well, that's unlike him. What an advice column. Ask Aunt Hope is unlike any advice you'll ever read. It's done a lot of good around here. The Ask Aunt Hope story. Did you know, Audrey, that uh, no one knows who writes it? I'd love to include this as part of my story on the paper's legacy. Do you remember the first time Ask Aunt Hope appeared in the Hope Cove Beacon? Well, yeah. Story I... for a different time, perhaps. This was about my article, not yours. So that's how it is. What do you think of Hope Cove? I think it's lovely. Oh, it, oh, oh. I read some of your non-award-winning articles. Your writing is beautiful. You do write with compassion. You don't give yourself enough credit. I bet the entire AV squad had a crush on you. Actually, they did. You know he's single, right? I'm here to work, not date. Let's see what Aunt Hope has to say. Sometimes your life path doesn't take you all over an island to find your way. Sometimes it's standing in front of you, like a beacon. I'm almost done with my article. Would you take a look at it? I'd be honored. You're falling for Morgan. What? No, I'm we're just friends. I am going to go there tonight, and I am going to catch whoever it is. Don't come to the paper tonight. Audrey knows. I knew it. Knew what? I see you figured it out. Does that mean you were lying the whole time? I had no idea that Fanny had anything to do with Ask Aunt Hope. So that's it then. You gotta at least stay for the festival. You can't just leave. Tonight is the dinner and the dance. It is time to let Morgan know how you feel. This last week, I've been reminded just how special this town is by a certain someone, and I hope she feels the same way. Congratulations, Mr. Editor-in-Chief. Would you join me as co-editor-in-chief? Sounds like a pretty good life.